what is going on guys and welcome back to some foot manager mobile 2020 uh, with our youtube fc custom club series so where we left off i've been having a lot of people tell me that i should make more videos of sorry behind the scenes off camera and then show you guys the results uh, rather than doing every match for every episode of the season because as we can see it's going to be a very very long season we got, I think, 24 teams in the league, and we have to all play them twice, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a really, really uh, big uh, league. So, guys, where we left off, I think where we left off was we lost 3-2 to Northampton, if I'm not mistaken. And then from there, I played on three, uh, four matches, sorry, uh, behind the camera. So let's just go for the results, guys. We had a 3-0 loss against Forest Green, um... And then after that, we had another 2-0 loss against Cambridge at home. So very, two very disappointing uh, losses, uh, obviously, as well as two games which we did not score any goals. However, things got a bit better. The next game after that, we did win against um, Colchester. So we had Josh Brown and Sachin uh, score to make it 2-1. However, in the game after that, we went back to our usual atrocious form as we lost 3-0 to Gillingham or Gillingham I'm not sure how you say it anyway for this episode we're going to be versing Grimsby, Port Vale and Swindon so let's get straight into it guys let's see we got here Navodka is on international duty in fact quite a few players are on international duty so they're not going to be available uh, Smith not available, Navodka also not available. Uh, but we can put Sambo on the left side, and um, yeah, quite quite a few players missing out because of international duty. Also, it's good. I mean, uh, we got Navodka here. Um, he's got one cap and zero goals for the U twenty one Slovakian international team. We got Pinasawa here, who's already playing for Indonesia, three cap zero goals. We've got Frankie, who's got a three cap zero goals for Finland. Uh, Raul Enigmati has got one goal in three appearances for the U21 team of Romania. Uh, who else we got here? Sachin. Sachin's got two goals in three games for the Indian international team, which is good to see. Uh, also, Javi Gimana has played one game for Rwanda, if, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sorry if I'm not. We've got uh, Waffle Smith, one cap for Jamaica, zero goals. We've got Gonsalves again, three caps for India, zero goals. And Baskarin, three caps for Sri Lanka and zero goals. But obviously, these most of these are uh, Gonsalves, Smith and Baskarin are fullbacks. So you can't really expect them to score many goals for the international team. In terms of options on the bench, there's not that many. We can only field around four substitutes because of uh, the international duty. Um, so hopefully we don't get a lot of injuries. And um, yeah, let's see what we can do in this in this game, guys. We come on the back of a defeat, a very disappointing defeat. All right, guys, here are the formations. Pretty, pretty identical formations. They're literally identical formations. And let's get straight into it, guys. Oops. Put this down a bit. There we go. All right, guys. Here's Grimsby uh, with an early chance to take the lead. And it is a free kick, which they are going to take. Um, quite a good area to shoot. Is he going to shoot? Yes, he is. Good save from Vienna. I feel like the ball was deflected, so it was good of him to save it. Um, here again, Grimsby on the attack, but nothing comes of it. Here's Smith to Gorjao, to Ellis. Good pass to Rodriguez. Gorjao again, and... It's a corner? Yeah, it's a corner, guys. Is Jawara to Ukar to Ellis, and that's about it. 20 minutes in, we have two shots, one on target compared to Grimsby. Four shots, one on target. 
Team rating is 6.1 out of 10 for both teams. We're having more of the possession though, 58. His, uh, San, uh, sorry, Sambo, his Guerrero. Is this going to be a goal? Yes, it is. One goal for YouTube FC. Guerrero, the striker, gets yet another goal in this uh, league campaign. Good to see. Very, very good to see. We can see the replay here. It starts from myself passing to Sambo and Sambo finds Guerrero. But obviously there's still a lot of work to do because Guerrero needs to find uh, the, the bottom of the net with a good finish, which he does. So very good from the, I think he's Portuguese. Let me just, let me just confirm. Uh, yes, Portuguese striker. 24 years old. Okay, Ruben Guerrero on the score sheet. All right, guys, 1-0. Uh, things are going okay. We've been playing well this game. Uh, we have more possession. I feel like we're controlling the game a bit more. We haven't really conceded any, any chances except for that, um, that free kick, which we had in the first half to defend. Here's Smith, and hopefully we can keep up the levels of performance. Fifty-eight minutes gone. Here's Sambo picks up the ball nicely, finds Guerrero again. He's got another chance. The Portuguese striker, and it is a foul. It could be a red card, though. I think, yep, it was a red card. Uh, he was the last man, and he stops Guerrero from an almost potentially certain goal uh, opportunity. It would have been a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Here's Ucardo, and he uh, he takes the free kick. It deflects yet again, and the keeper just about saves it. And one of the defenders puts it off a corner just uh, for safety measures. And Gojao commits a foul, and it is a goal kick. Uh, or free kick, sorry, should I say, to Grimsby. Here's uh, Ucardo. Here's Sambo. To Ellis, Ukar again, and we are getting counter attack. We need to be careful. And Ukar commits a foul. It is a tactical foul. It had to be done. It was a potentially dangerous. And you know how we are with counter attacks in this uh, in this season. We don't really sit too well with them. We are always most likely to concede. Anyway, uh, good defending again. Seventy second minute, and it looks like we might be able to ride this result out, or maybe add another goal. Uh, we're going to have to see. But we're ready to make some changes, guys. 73 minutes in, and we've got one we've got one player more in advantage than the opposition. So at this point, there is really, really no excuse not to win this game. So let's see who we can put on from the four substitutes we have. So let's put on J for Rodriguez. Um let's put on uh we're going to keep Guerrero on just purely because he he's in a good form. I don't want to ruin that. And let's put on Jackman for Ellis. And that's the two substitutes done. We've got two left that we're going to use in an emergency, uh, emergency case scenario. Five minutes left, guys. And we are heading for a 1-0. And we are heading for uh, possibly the first time this season uh, a winning opening to... Uh, an episode we have done so far for this uh, series with this uh, custom club so let's let's not get ahead of ourselves let's be calm and patient uh, we also need the team to play out we can't just expect this win without putting any effort in in these last few minutes we've got to defend we've got to say stick tight we've got to make sure we man mark uh, that's one of been that's been one of our biggest problems this season man marking and just defending in general we have not been able to do it well here is Sambo though a good uh, little throw in to waste more time in our favor. Here's got Zhao to Jackman. And what a good shot from the American who just came on as a halftime, uh, sorry, second off substitute. Here's Ucardo. We've got to be careful here. It's a potentially counter attack. Jackman needs to deal with this professionally. He does. And it's a 1 0, guys. And we have a winning start to the episode. And let's see what that puts us in the league. I'm not sure if that's going to change our position by a lot, but you never know. As long as we stay out of that relegation, it should be good. Um, all right, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. So, 1-0, and as expected, it doesn't really change much in terms of our league. But we're not too far off from getting out of that relegation spot. Uh, we're just about one point off uh, 23rd, 22nd, and the 21st spot in a table. Uh, in regards to the difference, so we're on 10 points, the leader's on 
30 points so you guys can see there's a 20 point difference between us and that first place and between us us and uh and the seventh place which would be a uh, sorry a playoff uh, spot which we are aiming for there is only basically 12 points between us and them guys so it's definitely not too late but we need to keep this run going and it's something that um something that we need to really put our minds to it and try to put on a run that's the only way we're gonna aim for that but we may just have a um pleasant surprise to the season maybe towards the end I think it was a bit too much to ask from these players which are very young and very inexperienced for them to really compete for the top of this league. But anyway, we got Port Vale right now and we got a whole squad back from international duty. That surely boosts our options. So uh, I think I want to keep Guerrero. I think I want to keep most of the team the same, guys. Maybe put on... Um, Let me just see here. We got Javi Gimana. Who else do we have? We got Sachin. Just trying to figure out. We got Waffle Smith. And we got Gonsalves. Baskarin and Gonsalves. Let me just see some things here. Okay, we're gonna put Gonsalves on for Smith. How have I been performing? Not too bad. Been getting three sevens in the last three games. So that's pretty good to see. Um we've got half a Gimana here. How did Jackman do? Jackman. She got a six. And Ellis. Half a star. Half a Gimana. Half a star. Half a star. I'm gonna put in half a Gimana for Ellis. And for the strikers, I think I wanna put Frankie on here and Sachin. But yeah, I think we're gonna keep it like this. Let's head straight into it. Okay, guys. So reversing Port Vale. I didn't really look where they, where they are in the table. I'm not sure if they're towards the lower side of the table or towards the higher side. Uh, maybe I'm colorblind, but there is a clear kit clash over here. Like, I don't know which ones are my players and which ones. Um, maybe I'm a bit bad with colors, but um, it is really annoying. Here is Port Vale, though. And was that us? Hold on, I'm a bit confused. Okay, sorry. No, that was the other team. They, they tried to get a shot on our goal, but we managed to get away. And here's Sambo. To Guerrero, and it's another goal for us, guys. Poor clearance from the defenders. Guerrero um, shows why or repays my faith in keeping him in the squad in the main lineup for two games in the um, two games running now. So that's good. Always good to see one nil, guys. Uh, perhaps a bit lucky it was a bit of a mess uh, mess up from the defense but we'll take it especially where we are in the table right now we'll take any goal and any win whichever way we can but again good early start guys and uh, another goal for the portuguese striker ruben guerrero here is sambo again potential counter but he loses the ball very uh, disappointingly and it is a foul from ukar and he gets a yellow card Probably rightfully so. And here is a potentially dangerous free kick from uh, Port Vale. It hits the post, guys. And Vienna clutches it to his hands. Here's Ukar. These kick clashes are really annoying. Here's Gojao. And he... Uh, okay, I thought he lost the ball for a minute. But it was a uh, incorrect dispossession. He was fouled. And here's Ukar again. Is he going to pass? Yes, he does. But it uh, gets deflected or... I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it was a shot. Gonzalez again in the books as well for um, for foul gets a yellow card, and uh, we're approaching half time. It would be nice to head into half time with this result. Okay, guys, half time. We are again up one nil, and now we've got another second half. 
to uh, maintain this level of performance. And here's is Smith and um, yeah, it will be interesting to see if we get a win now. This will be uh, the first time in the season uh, that we can actually put two back to back wins in in a video or just in general, we can actually get back to back wins. Here's a yellow card for one of the Port Vale players. They have their fair share of yellows. And nothing much happening in the second half. It's a bit quiet. Um, but I'm surely expecting Paul Vale to push forward as the second half goes on. Here is, is this my team. Oh no, it's not. We'll quite get to the second yellow card. What happened? Is it is it a penalty? Uh what we are gonna have to do here, guys, is we're gonna have to take Gorjao off. Unfortunately, he is the casualty of a red card. I mean, sorry, of a scenario where a red card, where a player has to be taken off to for someone else to fulfill the position that is required more. So in this scenario, it's pretty important that we have a solid midfield rather than having that attacking playmaker up behind the striker. That's for sure. So, uh, yeah, we make the substitute. I hope it's not a penalty. It would be really bad if it was... Is it? No, it's not a penalty. But again, Ukar, a bit aggressive in this game. He gets his second yellow. Um, and he's going to miss the next game or two next games. I'm not sure how it how it works. Here's Smith. Oh, that's not our Smith. That's someone else. Here's myself. I don't get the ball. And Vienna, what to save? But it's, it, it's in vain. We uh, The rebound somehow luckily bounces back to the Port Vale players. And... Um, they make it 1-1, guys. Yeah. Maya with the goal. Uh, Vienna, props to him for uh, saving that first shot. It was an important save, but unluckily, it uh, bounces to someone else from the other team, and they just slot it in. 1-1, one -one, guys, and we are ready to make some changes. Uh, yeah, we've really been quiet since that first goal we scored, which is, uh, as I've said, it was a bit lucky, so it wasn't really to do with team quality, but rather just taking advantage of a uh, situation. Um, I'm going to keep Guerrero on because he's on a good rating, but I'm going to put Jay on for, uh, Rodriguez. Actually, why not? Let's let's change this up. Let's put Frankie on for uh, Guerrero as well, because I, I want to give everyone playing time in this uh, career mode, especially having you guys in a team. So about 11 minutes or so for the new substitutes to really make an impact. That's more than enough time, if you ask me. Oh, goal kick for us, guys. We nearly, nearly conceded another goal to make it 2-1. That would have been a big blow. But... Um, his Smith. I'm, there's so many Smiths. I'm getting confused between our Smith and their Smith. It's uh, really confusing. But already an added time, guys. And there's not a lot of time left. Got about four minutes uh, to really find this winner. Otherwise, we're going to have to settle for a draw, which is probably not going to help us much in terms of our uh, league table position. But we're going to have to see. Okay, guys, 93rd minute, two minutes to go, guys, and Port Vale are still seeing most of the ball, which is a bit, a bit dangerous here. Atkinson. What happened? Oh, Jawara, good defending, puts it out for a corner, even though at this point it'll probably be the last kick of the game. And it is a missed header, thankfully. 1-1, one, one, guys. Yeah, a bit, a bit bitter. Because we could have won this game if we just scored another goal or just held out. But again, it's a team in progress and we're... I think we're going to keep making mistakes for a little while. <laughs> Let's see where, where, where Port Vale were. Let me just see Port Vale. Just to see the, uh, the magnitude of that result. Port Vale. Okay, they are... They are 15th, so that's okay. Well, they're like mid, mid ish table, should I say? Or. Okay, so. Sports commentators are debating whether Krista Chris will ever manage to fit. F 
Okay, so you're talking about my, myself as a player will ever manage to fit into the tactics which YouTube FC employ. We're gonna see. We're gonna say that he needs time. So uh, I've come under scrutiny myself, uh, but it seems like the morale has ra has risen. Sorry for uh, myself, as I've given myself support, should I say, as manager and player. So I've become uh, a bit criticised for my performances. I mean, I only got six in my last game. Um, so yeah, but uh, what have we got here? I'm not sure who to bring here. Probably gonna have to bring Jackman on and put him as a central midfielder as well. Ukar's gonna have to get taken off. Ellis probably gonna have to come on. We're gonna vodka here. We're gonna put him, put him on for Sambo and um, Guerrero. He's gonna keep his place because he's been playing well. Let's bring on a uh, Pinusawa for Gojao as well this time. And we've got Basker in here. Why not? Let's put Basker on, Basker in on for Jawara. Jawara also not playing bad. He's got eight in his last game. And uh, we've got Smith here. Got seven in his last game. Let's put on Smith for myself. We've got Waffle Smith. Raul. Okay, guys. Let's see Brown. Has he scored any goals? Yeah, he scored one goal. Uh, Guerrero. Three goals in six games. Okay, guys. We are good to go. We are... Let's just say we are unbeaten in two games. Let's look at it that way. It's a pretty big progress. Here's Rodriguez. Good run from the Portuguese. Or, sorry, Spanish. I think he is. Spanish winger. His Baskerin plays it nicely to catch up to the ball. Again, a good ball to Rodriguez, but he does get fouled and it's our free kick. Here is a throw in for Swindon Town or Swindon City. I'm not sure. Good from Baskerin. Rodriguez, he's a bit isolated and we do lose the ball, but it was an illegal dispossession and we do get the foul. Bit of pressing here from uh, Swindon early on. It's forcing us to... Well, not forcing us to make mistakes, but we are getting fouled a lot as a result. Maybe this is good because it will wear them out later on and possibly in the first half or the second half. They will start to feel the fatigue from all the pressing, which will give us the chance to open them up and um, have an advantage. But for now, we might have to soak up some of the pressure until half time, maybe. And uh, probably that's what that's probably how we're gonna have to play it. Okay, guys, here's a free kick to Smith, which he doesn't manage to control. Have a Gimana to Jackman and the vodka just about nearly manages to get it, which would have put him put him in a good position to shoot and possibly score. Here's the vodka, and we lose the ball. And the vodka again, a good counter attack. Is he gonna? Yeah, he's gonna reach the ball. He finds Havigimana to Pinosawa to uh, Guerrero, and Guerrero manages to miss that. Not miss it, but it does get saved. Guerrero again, second chance, and it does get saved uh, by the keeper again. Good few minutes for the Swindon keeper manages to keep his uh, team in check and uh, doesn't concede. One minute left, and uh, I think that'll be it for this first half. Uh, Overall, verdict, we've had more shots on target and more shots in general than the team we're facing. Possession-wise, just a bit under, but we have a higher team rating, which shows uh, we're playing better. But that's only uh, statistics-wise. The result still remains nil-nil, which is what matters at the end of the day. Forty-fifth minute, second half has begun, and... We've got a lot to do here. Good defending from Gonçalves. And here's Smith. And a good save from Vienna. Okay, we played this out really well. I liked how we defended. The shot still went through, which obviously the keeper had to save, which is okay. But in terms of, uh, we made some good interceptions. And um, yeah, I like to see that. Uh, results still nil nil, but a good defensive phase whatsoever. The vodka tries to play the ball and goes to Smith. Smith loses it a bit disappointingly. I'm not sure what he was doing. 
and here's a cross and Javi Gimana puts it out for a corner and um, boots it away to safety. Here's 76 minutes on. I'm trying to make a substitute, but I'm not sure I'm going to make it. Jackman or Baskerin, whoever that Here's Pinasawa. Good. What a pass to Guerrero, and he's going to make it. Is he go who's he going to find? The vodka, and it just... ah, That wasn't bad. I like that. That was good. Uh, let's put on Frankie this time for Guerrero, and let's bring on Jay uh, for Rodriguez, and let's bring on Ellis for Jackman. About 13 minutes left for the substitutes to really, uh, really do something special here, and for the team, the team overall to get a goal here, which would be nice, but. Uh, we're going to have to be patient. Here's Jay. Not sure what he's doing, but it, thankfully he managed to get the ball forward. Still, here's Jay. The Ghanaian, and it's a corner. Good play from the youngster. 88 minutes in. And four minutes of added time has just been uh, shown. Four minutes, did I say? Sorry. Ellis. Jay, he's going to have to get to that. Here's Ellis. He gets it in, and again, good save from the keeper. We're trying our best to get something here, but it's just not coming off, and we still got a bit of time left. Here's a throw in. Have a Gimana. Jay. Frankie Pinosawa, and oh my god, we're so close, but again, good defending in tight situations for uh, uh, Swindon here, which. Here Smith commits a foul. He's probably going to get yellow here. But again, we had a lot of opportunities to steal the win here. But again, we don't manage to. Here's Novotka though. The game's not over. The Slovakian. Was that a cross? I'm not sure what that was. It looked like he just wanted to hit the ball in the player just to get a corner out of it. Uh, sorry, a throw in out of it. Here's Smith. Pinosawa. We're not done yet though. Here's Havigimana. And I think now we can say we're done. And now... We might be more than done as we just conceded. Oh, Novotka. Ah, oh, not a good ball to Frankie. That surely could have been a potential winner if it was just a bit less power. And it looks like we're going to have to settle for this uh, draw again. So that will make it three games un undefeated or unbeaten, should I say. And uh, yeah, certain progress has been made in terms of the defensive phase. And we're starting to see, I mean, attacking wise, we were always, always decent. We always scored goals. Obviously, we had a few games where we couldn't. But, um, yeah, I think the biggest phase which has definitely needed to improve and has improved is the defensive phase. So, Swindon, let's see where Swindon is. Swindon is... Uh, trying to see what's... Oh, we just drew, guys, to the second team in the table... Wow, that is a good result. Looking at it that way, purely because you know that they are a good team uh, if they're in that second spot. So that is very, very good to see from my team that we were managed. We didn't, we weren't really put in trouble by the team, which shows, and we just came out of the relegation spot. So it just gets better, guys. But we're going to end this video right here. And we can ha ha finally have a video or an episode of this custom club series where we don't lose a game. So one win and two draws. That puts a most successful episode to date of this custom club series with YouTube FC. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Surely things are looking to get better, but you never know. They could, uh, they could slump back down again at any point. So we need to be careful and we need to stay focused. But in terms of the table, we are slowly rising. Uh, we just came out of the relegation spot. So things are definitely looking good, guys. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.